Good morning, good morning, and how are you today? Right, well, there'll be no rushing. I know you've rushed from work to get here for this examination, but these examinations are very important. They're all about you. Now, can I just get some of your details down? I've had a quick check over, but I do need to make sure that everything is correct. Tell me again, what is the first line of your address? Yeah. Okay. Um, postcode. Lovely. And I have down here a telephone number ending in 794. Is that correct? Perfect. And you know why you've been invited in today? An MOT, that is correct. We do like to call it a male MOT when we do a real good thorough checkup on you. Just a once over to make sure everything is in tip top condition. Brilliant. All right, I will be taking notes as we are going along, so I'm just going to shift that over. If you don't mind, I'm going to change my glasses over for this. Sometimes I need to get up close and personal. So we might need to be a little bit closer to you. Now, can I run you through what will be happening today? Okay, lovely. So we've got a couple of checks that we'll be doing actually. I'll be doing a once over, we'll do your heart rate. Um, we're also going to be doing a pelvic exam today, um, just to make sure that everything is comfortable and working well down below as well. Yes. Well, what you could do for me, if you wouldn't mind, is there is a robe over there, a hanging up. If you could go and grab a robe and pop yourself into the little, um, toilet area, you'll find on the shelf there are two baskets. One will have some little vials in them and the other one will say deposit. The yellow one is the one you're going to deposit it into. So what I would like you to do for me first of all today is a urine sample. Did you drink plenty before you came? Brilliant. Good. I'm so pleased because I did want you busting <laughs> as you just put it. Right. Um, if you wouldn't mind, if you could try to set the flow going, how is the flow at the moment? Are you finding there's any breakages in the flow, or is it one consistent flow? Well, that's perfect. That's great. So, once the flow is going, if you could pop the canister underneath, fill it up to the line, lovely, and then pop the lid on it, and you'll find some little plastic bags with a pen next door to it, pop it in the plastic bag, pop your name on and then pop that into the yellow bucket. That's brilliant. Right, I shall let you go and do that. And then also, obviously, if you wouldn't mind, you can leave your clothes in the cubicle for the moment um, and just pop that full gown on and come out and then we'll, we'll continue with the check. Okay, I'll just be here waiting for you. I've just got a couple more notes to take. So off you go. How was that? Everything was satisfactory? Wonderful. Good, good, good. I'm just going to pop some gloves on for the next bit. So, we're now going to give you just, just a little check over. When was the last time you came in for a full check up? Hmm. I know you know what I'm going to say, and why have you left it so long? Well, this is what happens to you men. You leave it and you leave it. You leave it so long and then you get poorly. And we are all about prevention here. We're all about checking with plenty of time. And then if we find anything, we can just make sure we get on top of that before it turns into anything nasty. Now, how are you doing now? Wonderful. Right, first check will be very basic. Let's just do a little check on your heart. Make sure everything's working well. Now, yeah, you've got two ribbons on the back there. If you can just undo the ribbon and just pop the gown down slightly. 
Wonderful. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to warm this up. Oh, very cold. Very cold. Okay, are you ready? I'm popping this onto your chest. Yeah. <clears throat> just, could you just be quiet for a moment? I'm just going to be listening. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's no problem. Right, I'm just going to go in on the other side, if you don't mind. Let me come round here. There we are. There we are. It is busy down here this morning. It's all those reminders we sent out for you men to get those MOTs. Yeah, heart sounding very good. Wonderful. Would you mind just turning round for me? I'm just going to check your lungs, just with a little check, all right? Lovely. Turning yourself around. Okay, let me just pop that. I'm just going to pop that onto your back and hold that there for a moment. Could you take a big deep breath in for me, please? Yeah. Right, take a large breath and then breathe out slowly for me. All right. That all sounded very good. Nothing to be concerned about there, all right? So that's number one. You can tick that off your worry list. Okay. Now, do you have any medical concerns you need to tell me about? Is there anything you've been slightly worried about recently? Hmm. All right. Okay. And you are a builder. Okay. I will be honest with you, I would put that down to general wear and tear. Um, are you making sure that in the evenings you're putting cold pro compress on your knees? Yeah. All right. We can do some reflex tests if you need, but I honestly think it's just wear and tear. There's no sharp agonizing pain, just a dull ache at the end of the day. I'd actually recommend heat treatment and cold treatment, so maybe something cold one evening, maybe a hot water bottle another, and try and raise your legs in the evening, so they're just getting that little bit of a break. All right, right, so we will be going down to the next part of our exam now. So, we've checked you above. Well, actually, let me just come in close. I'll take a little look in those retinas, although I think they are absolutely fine. No, that looks looks fine. Just check again. So, sorry, it's a bit brighter this time, isn't it? Can I just look over there? Can you look up to the right for me? Yeah. Do you look down to the left? No worries. All looking perfection. So, as this is your full MOT, we will be going downstairs. Now, what I do want to say to you, if you are uncomfortable, um, need a break at any moment, please, please do, just let me know. Just, you know, Dr. Anna, stop for a minute, I need a break. Um, it's very, very common for men to become very anxious, uncomfortable around this situation. And may I also say, this is a very sensitive area that we're checking, so please do not be worried in any way if we have any um, arousal in the area, because it's a very delicate member of your body, and it's quite normal. I know. But you will be absolutely fine. These are very tender hands. Now, if you don't mind, I'm actually going to swap my gloves out for this one. As it is such a tender part of the body, I do like to have my gloves that are a lot tighter. It just gives me a much clearer sensation. Yeah. Because I will be doing, first of all, an observation. And then we'll be doing a bit of a physical check. So, that being said, we will need to make sure that I can 
feel everything fully. Okay. They are rather fetching pink gloves, aren't they? Also, particularly tight gloves. So we're going to squeeze those on all the way. All the way to the very ends of my fingers. There we are. I'll just put those down. There we are. That's one. So will you be going straight back to work after this? Oh, you're sneaking off for a little lunchtime break. Well done, well done you. What a good plan. Just going to push my fingers right into the end there. Look that over my watch. I can just get that on. It's good to go very tightly in there. Right. Okay. I think. All ready now. So, if you don't mind, would you stand up for me? That would be really helpful. Thanks. That's fantastic. Thank you. And also, if you don't mind, we're going to just going to roll that up there. That's it. We're just going to lift it up. There you are. If you don't mind, would you take hold of that with both your hands? That's it. Just hold it there for me. That's it. Lovely. Good job. Well done. All right, that's it. You keep hold of that, and I'll do the rest of it. All right. So first of all, observation. All right, so we're just going to... Just going to be having a little look here. All right. Now, I'm looking for any edemas, swellings, lumps, bumps, anything that shouldn't really be there. That's what we're looking out for today. You haven't found anything yourself? Okay, well let me get in there and see what I can find then. Okay, now I'm just going to, I'll be checking your scrotum first, so bear with me. I'm just going to raise up our penis, we're just going to hold that there. Alright, are you feeling okay? Brilliant, stay there for me. Just need to have a little check around. Make sure nothing shouldn't be there. And ejaculation is fine. No problems. Brilliant. All right. All right, I'm quite happy with that. I'm just going to pop you, <laughs> pop you down again. All right, lovely. If you can just stay there. Could you do me a favour, while I've got you here, I'm actually going to check on your pelvic hip movement. So each leg, put the weight onto one leg, and with the other leg if you can just swing it back and bring it forward, just in one straight movement. Alright, do you want to take my hand to study you? Okay. Right, are you ready? Let's do the left first please. Weight onto the right, lifting the leg, just a full range of movement please, let me see that hip movement. Perfect. And take my other hand. <laughs> okay, and holding my hand. If you could just do the same thing again, weight onto the left, right leg, full movement. Any pain? No discomfort? Brilliant. Okay, right. I'll just get you now to stand. Hips just kind of feet width apart. Just let everything relax for me. All right. Okay, so the next part, I will be checking your penis shaft, and we are just checking for any infections. I'll be looking down the eye just to ensure there's no discharge. You've not noticed anything, um, any un anything that's been uncomfortable or any yellowing or greenish discharge coming out. Doesn't smell different. All right, I'll just give you a little check. Right, let me just... Sorry, I'm going to warm these up a bit. They are a little bit cold. There we are. All right. right you ready? <clears throat> if you'd like to look away, it's absolutely fine. Okay, I'm just going to take that and just have a check. Just 
straight down the eye. Okay. And you've had no problems with the foreskin, you can put it all the way back. Okay. Well, you'll be very pleased to know that everything is looking tip-top condition. Didn't I say you had nothing to worry about? Honestly, I always say the same. These tender hands, how could you? How could you possibly worry about anything? All right, what I'm gonna get you to do, do you want to just drop that down again? Drop that down, that's it. I'd wrap it around your bottom if I were you. These chairs are very cold. And come and have a seat for me. Okay. Thank you. Lovely. Are you all seated comfortably? Brilliant. Now, how was that? Did you feel that there were any areas that felt uncomfortable? You did very well. No, I, I fully understand. It can make you feel a little bit anxious. Well, we won't be doing the full prostate examination today, but I can book you in for that if you think that's something that might, might be a good idea. Okay. All right. Well, that's, that's brilliant. Right, let me just pop down a couple more notes for you. Let me just get our notes up to speed. I'd like to see you in another year's time. Just at this age, I think it's prevalent to try and do a more regular checkup than once every five years. I don't want to see you in five years' time. I'll be an old lady by then. Do you have any plans for the festive season? Well, that's very exciting. So the whole family and yourself will be going up to the log cabin. That is a Christmas dream, is it not? Oh my goodness. Well, and you'll be going up there with full knowledge that you are in perfect working order. Good, lovely. Yeah, no pacemaker for you this Christmas, I'm afraid. <laughs> Oh, well, it's been such a pleasure meeting you. And as I said, can we not leave it so long next time? I would like to see you in a year's time. But if there is anything in the meantime, please don't wait. I know it's very easy for you men to have life just carry you away. Work, family, lots of things going on. But actually, you need to be taking care of yourself. We want to hear from you men when you're not feeling yourself. And that may be that it's not a physical thing. Exhaustion, depression, these are all very important things these days that need to be addressed. So please don't shut them away in a little box and ignore them, all right? Yes, I'm Dr. Anna, that's what I said, Dr. Anna. So, any problems you're going to call up? Request Dr. Anna, because I'm always here waiting to see you. Yeah. But in the meantime, have the most wonderful Christmas, and I'll see you in a year's time. Mwah. Merry Christmas. Hi, and thank you so much for watching today. And if you've enjoyed today's video, or any of the others, Please do like and subscribe so I can make many more. And if you are looking for something perhaps a little not safe for work, please do join me on my OnlyFans page or my Patreon page for some very grown-up stories. Happy listening, my darlings.